Darrell Lonnie with the head coach of the Wolves, Arn Ferguson, Humboldt State. Great win for your team on the road. Uh, anytime you can go down to Humboldt and get a win, uh, extremely, I thought, well played game on, on both parts. Uh, you know, the, the, from a fan point of view, even though it wasn't a high scoring game, it was a lot of thrills and down to the wire in a lot of different situations. And uh, it ended up being you look at the final stats and look at things. Um, almost a pretty much identical game. So, your defense makes a huge play at the end of that game or near the end of the game on that, fourth and one. Yeah, that's you know it came down to well they got the ball around the thirty yard line. I believe there's about two minutes somewhere like that, and they got a miss a tackle. They got seven yards on that first down play. So then they got one yard on the second down play, one yard rushing on the third down play, or, or so to speak. So basically, it's fourth and, and maybe a foot. Um, and then we expect them to go off tackle or put it on the line and throw it up to their tall receiver, the transfer from Portland State, who we have a lot of respect for. Um, so we talked about, called timeout, talked about both those situations with the players, and, and we felt that uh, you know they did a nice job. Miguel Gonzalez had a great coverage, blanket coverage, with a, a corner actually going over to help double late. Um, and then the uh, ball was incomplete, and then our offense did a good job of running out the clock. Yeah, they did. Your offense got the key first down, so yep. it didn't leave it up uh, up in the air. Yes, and, uh, and really felt our O-line really started to get going and, and wear them down towards the end. So I thought that was a key factor. Uh, the football game in itself was our O-line getting better throughout the game, and also no turnovers. You know, quarterback did a nice job taking care of the ball, and so did our running backs. You get one injury out of it, uh, out of the, the game, a serious injury that yeah. young guy's going to be out, your wide receiver, Colleen Namoku, will be out uh, two to three weeks. That hurts, doesn't it? He is really our lightning bug of, of a lot of things that jumpstart our offense. Um, tremendous fire on our offensive when he catches the football and the plays he makes after, but also on our special team. So he's going to be a significant loss, and we, we anticipate two to three weeks, and you never know once you deal with high ankle ligaments if that's going to linger on. So we're just waiting until we know more details. Well, your league looks good, Coach. Central Washington beats Minnesota Duluth a couple of weeks ago. Dixie State, who you play now, uh, plays Montana State, uh, level up on the road right to the wire. Yeah, and uh, Dixie's big and physical, so that didn't surprise me at all. Um, they're very, and they're getting better and better throughout um, us playing and then being make that transition from J.C., uh, community college to a four-year university, so we expect them to get better. As you know, last week against Humboldt, we, we knew they were going to get a lot better. Also, any similarities between the two Humboldt that you just played and Dixie that you're now playing? Um, yeah, I really think um, things as a whole rides on you know how well they contain a running game early, um, and then also the quarterback situation. You know, on both those new quarterbacks or last year. You know, with, with Humble, the quarterback came in um, and he didn't play against the second time, but he played real well. Um, now they, uh, Dixie has moved a tight end receiver, real good athlete, to quarterback. Um, so the similarities as far as that quarterback plays well, their team's going to play well. And we expect, uh, it, you know, Dixie to be a much improved game um, from last year. Even though last year, if you remember at home, and they end up coming back and end up being a close ball game late. It's an interesting fact you brought out. I don't. Th I'm not sure if I've ever seen this. Judd Thompson, you're yes. referring to, plays tight end last year because mm -hmm. another quarterback came into the system, beat him out, quarterbacked him last year. But he's such a good athlete; they want him on the field, so they played him at tight end. Now the other kid's gone, so it's back to quarterback. And he's a, a very good quarterback. You know, he's a six-three, six-four athlete that's really a half tight end, half receiver when he played, and ended up being their mo most productive uh, receiver. Then at quarterback, um, he's going to be able to run around a little bit, but also has some good size to step and throw the deep ball, too. Your kids, I'm sure, have anticipated and looked forward to playing at home. First yeah. home game. Yeah, so it seems like it's been forever since we've been at home. Um, nice to get in front of our fans, which we have great attendance, uh, especially with the parking lot situation where there's tailgating going on, a great environment, uh, especially for families and alumni and also boosters. Um, we feel with the amount of Oregon kids that we have on our team, it's a great place to watch college football and to have an identified, identified with somebody that you've watched play in high school um, that's on our team. Very important game, even this early in the season, because you have the opportunity to go 2-0 in the league. Yeah, very important for us to 
number one, to get that first win was important last week. Number two, to get the first win at home was very important. Um, with our schedule, there's not much margin for error. So our players aren't going to take anything lightly. We know that Dixie's a very, uh, a very good team that can score a lot of points with some playmakers and with our own D-line, it's going to be big and physical. So those, that combination is going to make it tough. All right, thanks, Coach. That's the Coach of the Wolves, Arn Ferguson.